I think I remember someone saying they were hungry a minute ago. I'm going to get fat if I eat this. No, please. You grew up eating general salad chicken and pork fried rice. That greasy mess didn't put pounds on you. Those are Chinese dishes, Joe. My mom would only make Korean food. Of course, Dad wasn't too happy about that. Well, I wouldn't be either if I ate kimchi all the time. Brunchy taste buds for eating is barely worth it. <laughs> it's good for you. That's how we stay skinny. That's because you didn't want to eat it either. <laughs> But in your defense, Lizzie didn't like it when you made it for the lunch a couple weeks ago. Yeah, she has better taste than someone here. I'm glad to see she's doing okay, though, after what happened with that nut. And then seeing your scary butt in that get-up. <laughs> yeah, your parents asked by a counselor once a week outside of church. You should. It's partly your fault anyway. And Lizzie looks up to you, which is great considering she's an atheist. Yeah, I like Lizzie. A lot. I just wish uh, my Christian students would show the same interest she does. Hang in there. If Lizzie is the only one paying attention, then I think she's worth it. And maybe her example will bring the others around. You're a good teacher. I mean, you had no life when I met you, outside of God and the Bible. Which was fine for a while, but still. Now you can put all your knowledge to good use. Save some souls, instead of killing them for once. Thanks. By the way, what happened with that girl who was supposed to come to the Bible study last week? Um... What was her name again? I don't I don't think she said it on the phone. She didn't show. Hmm. She sounded like she was definitely going to go when I talked to her. Well, she was involved in a lot of sin. Maybe she didn't want to give it up. That's her choice, her problem, not mine. You're really disappointed. It's a sore subject. <sighs> I wish you could pick me up for lunch every day. Or at least three days a week. Even if it's just for 15 minutes, and even if you insist on making me chubby. I would love that. To be with you out here in peace, that's nice. Maybe I could. No. You have two jobs now. Pastor. Assistant pastor. Same difference. Then there's your other duty to God. That usually keeps you up during most of the night. And the pastoral duties take a few hours during the day. I don't want you to be overburdened because of the little me. Besides, you don't get enough sleep as it is. And I know you're hurting. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter you sick as you're at home alone. Joe. You know, things settled down a little. Maybe we could get away for a while. Are you actually allowed to take a vacation? Well, I might have some overtime and put in afterwards, but sure. Once I've caught up with all the leads I have in the city's little quiet house, I'll send a few days or a week. That might not be for some months, but... I understand. And I'm sure Mrs. Arturo and Leslie would appreciate it if you stick around for now. I interviewed one of the losers who killed her today. We got the confession out, but I'm assuming you already knew who it was. I, uh... <coughs> don't want to talk about that. What do you mean? Listen, I'm not going to get involved, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't bring it up again. Sorry. I'm not upset. Did I say something? It's just... When I picked you up, you said you were hungry. And I bought you that big burger, and it wasn't cheap. But I'm so full. Reminds me of kimchi. 